Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. If this is your first time here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 1,500 followers by the end of the month. Be freaking amazing if you did. But if not, I still love you, okay? Still love you. Nothing changes that. Even if you hate me, I still love you, okay? Call me later. I'm just saying don't call me. Anyways, <laughs> I want to talk about something a little bit serious. Something that's um, really concerning uh, in this age of uh, the internet, which, you know, it's fun. You see a lot of crazy things on the internet all the time. It's always changing. Uh, there's never really a dull moment. This is coming from somebody that checks the same five pages over and over every day. So, you know, I'm always looking for change, and, you know, I see it all the time. Um, what I'm talking about today is... It's three things, but they can all come together as one, basically. And that's the internet etiquette of not what to do on the internet. <laughs> Sorry, I had my tongue tied there. So, what am I talking about? As a content creator, as a content creator, like I said, I see a lot, a lot of things. I see a lot of good comments, bad comments, all this stuff. In the past, I have received things like, hey, I'm going to kill you. You know, sending me death threats, doxing me, and it's never been fun. You know, if somebody has really bad anxiety, that's not fun to have to constantly look over your shoulder because somebody said, hey, I'm going to kill you because, you know, you've said something bad about a video game. The reason why I want to talk about this today is because I did see a article. It's an older article, but um, it's very common, very common. And that's a an employee of BioWare recently resigned from her job, her him or her job, uh, due to getting death threats to that person and their family. That's serious. That's serious. You know, saying it to just, you know, somebody, single person, you know, that's bad on its own. But saying I'm going to kill you and your family, that's, that's way out there. And just the reasoning behind these things is usually something really tiny. Um, it could be a game delay, it could be they change something, the DPS on a gun that you use in Call of Duty, um, or they change something that's like story-wise, story elements, where there's delays in the games, the movies, the music, you didn't like the new album because the old al album was great. Uh, the content creators, you're like, oh, he had an opinion that I didn't like. Uh, say bad things to him. I have had death threats, so, you know, I, I'm not really afraid of it, but when it comes to death threats against me and my family, my fiance, my friends, people I care about, you guys, you know, I, that's something I don't take lightly, and I'm not saying that I've had death threats lately, I haven't, haven't, but the story, the, talking about this is pretty important to me, because I don't want you guys to have to worry about that. Um, I know, you know, we're in a age where trolling is really big, um, but you can take trolling too far. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of swatting. Swatting is basically is if somebody calls a false bad thing to the police and usually it's like, hey, this guy has a gun. He's got hostages. Um, go to this house and stop him before he kills people. And what happens? The police send out a SWAT team, goes to that place. Nine times out of ten, nothing is going on. Somebody could die, and there has been people that has died because of this. It's not, it's not, it's very scary. I mean, it's very scary. I've not had that happen to me. I hope it never happens to me, and I hope it never happens to you. Even if people hate you on the internet, even if it's Sweetie, I wouldn't want that to happen to him. Um, you know, that's scary. That's scary. Um... And one of the things I, I've been thinking about is, like, I don't know, we're all seeing a cult-like status with some of these bigger channels. Um, you know, some of Sweetie's people has threatened violence to other members of the group. Um, and that's not cool. It's not cool at all. I mean, I don't know why you think it's a good idea to do that, but people do it. Not cool. But the doxing thing... The doxing thing is kind of crazy too. 
Um, I mean, like I said, it's all kind of wound up to one big ball of craziness. And, you know, doxing, death threats, and swatting, it's all crazy. Now, doxing is something, um, it can be self-inflicted. Um, and there's really no justification for doing it. Uh, people still do it. But some people, some content creators, a.k.a. Sweetie, um, sometimes puts their self out there a little too far. Yeah, they give... Very fine details. Leak their phone numbers. Sometimes I think this is on purpose. For drama's sake. Um, and the doxing thing. I, I, I myself. I myself. I don't want somebody to find out. Where I live. What my phone number is. Where I work. Uh, what's the last thing I ate. And my medical conditions. I don't want people to know that. Well I mean I tell people about my. Some of my medical stuff. I don't talk about all of it. Talk about most of it, though. Uh, but I don't give out my information where I, you know, on purpose. I, you know, I don't want people to know that shit. And some creators, some trolls like to find all that. They'll dig up all the dirt and they'll just put it out there. Um, and that's, like, that's a that's a level of trolling. I, I personally won't go there. That's something I won't do. Uh, I know some people do it. Uh, is a bad? Yes. Uh, justified, probably not, but it does happen, and it's it sucks. It sucks because sometimes you have to change your phone number, you have to f change your address, leave the place you're at. I mean, the reason why I say this is, you know, we're living in an age right now where every week we hear about a mass shooting, we hear about people hurting each other because things they didn't agree with, and it kind of sucks because you know if you get doxxed. You don't know who's on the other side of the th threats. You know, the ones that say, hey, I'm going to kill you and your family. You don't know. You don't know if that's true or not. That person very well could be serious. Um, and that's scary. That's really scary. Uh, and I hate that for anybody. I don't want that to happen to anybody at all. Especially the swatting thing. Like, that's scary. I, I can imagine, like, some a bunch of cops and SWAT gear comes in with fully automatic guns pointing them at me saying hey get your hands behind your head and all that stuff and uh yeah that'd be scary i'd probably piss my pants or the other thing i'd probably shit my pants i'm sorry um it'd be scary it'd be scary and it's a waste of time tax players money and you know some of this stuff happens so often it happens to tim pool all the time uh, i'm sure it's happened uh jeremy from the quartering says that's happened to him uh boogie 2988 says it's happened to him i'm pretty sure every single big youtuber or twitch streamer uh, or you know other content creators um has had this stuff happen to him it's not it's not directly with one industry uh it can happen to anybody and it's never, like I said, it's never really justified. It never really is. Um, and whenever, say, say if this happens to you guys, um, you know, you have a disagreement in the comment section, and that stuff starts to happen, I say I won't, you know, censor things. I try not to. The only way I'm going to censor things, if it's something insanely vile, like being a racist, homophobe, uh, you know, pedophile, or something like that, or saying I'm going to kill you, or stuff like that. That's that's when I'm going to take action. Uh, I I hope you guys never have that happen to you, because you know, like I said, it's scary, and uh, most of the time it's not really justified. It's just somebody's pissed off, and that's the only thing they can retaliate with you. And, I mean, you see, like I said, you do see that a lot with uh, Sweetie's army of goons. Um, it's it's true. You you guys seen it. <laughs> You've seen it on my channel. Uh, I just love it, though. I just love. I just love it. I actually, I hate it. It's it's fucking scary. Like I don't think, um, I don't think she should do it. <laughs> honestly, um, guys, what I'd like to know is if this happened to you, how did you approach it? What's what's your plans if some psycho? finds your information and makes these kind of threats to you i'd like to know in the comments below again if you haven't already feel free to hit that follow button that subscribe button that like button 
whatever button's there, just hit that button. I'm not going to show you where. It's it's there, though. I mean, if you, you want to see it. Uh, we're trying to hit 1,500 followers by the end of the month. That would be amazing. Uh, all because of you guys. You guys uh, keep on watching the content. Uh, you know, we're going to have streams coming up. Um, it's, it's pretty cool getting back to streaming, being on panels with people. Uh, really enjoy it. Um, and I hope I hope we can continue this journey together into the great unknown, which is the Internet, which, man, that's scary. That's scary. Uh, anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you soon.